I like to relax after a busy day by reading lots of cookery books and getting lots of inspiration for the kitchen. Then the best bit is having a go at cooking. Sometimes the meals are delicious, sometimes not so much, but that's all part of the fun and when I'm cooking it helps me to take my mind off things and just helps me to feel calm. Oh, I like to go on a run to clear my head, get my heart racing, do a bit of sweating and at the end of it, although it was hard, I always feel 100% better. So I think you should get out, exercise and be happy. When I'm trying to relax, I love to do a puzzle. Um, I find it really therapeutic and especially like it when I can learn something as well. This one is teaching me all about the different house plants. And look, one piece left. All finished. Another thing that I do when I'm not feeling great is I hug my animals. So some of you might have cats or dogs at home. And this is my cat, Sarah. This is Sarah. And I have had Sarah since she was about six weeks old. And when she first came home with me, she was so small she could fit in the palm of my hand because she was only a baby. And now Sarah is nearly 11. So I have had her for nearly 11 years already. So some of you might have cats and dogs at home that you can give a cuddle to when you're not feeling great. And this one is my cat. Hello Redfield. When I've had a busy day, I like to take five minutes out to relax and do some colouring. When I'm not in school, I love to play football. It gives you so many good memories from the first goal you've ever scored to one of your latest goals. I started playing football in primary school where I grew the love of football and I continue to play it now to this very day. I love it so much I currently play football four times a week for three different football teams. It's given me so many fantastic friends and memories over the years and it's always really good for you to get rewarded for your efforts. Hi Redfield, I just wanted to share with you something that keeps me feeling really relaxed after a very busy day. Or if I wake up in the morning and I'm feeling a bit sad, or if something has made me a bit cross, this activity helps me to just calm down and feel a bit happier. And it's called cross stitch. And what you have to do is you have to get a piece of material and a needle and thread, and you make little crosses in your material. And when you make a little cross, you then put all of the crosses together to make a picture. I'm going to show you. Go in and out. And then I make a little cross. Like this. And then I build the crosses up. Now, it's very new to me, so I make a lot of mistakes. But it's okay, because I just keep persevering. And like I said earlier, it makes me feel calm. And it takes up a lot of time, so I'm going to keep doing it just to keep my mind healthy and to keep me busy in a really relaxing way. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Hi Redfield, I hope you're all doing okay and finding lots of ways to look after yourselves, relax and find some joy in life even in lockdown. I always feel better when I can get out and do something active. I like riding my bike. Sometimes I like to go for a run and I'm always looking for new ways to have fun. These electric scooters are amazing. Oh, and then I can't. Hello everybody. So next week is a mental health week and I would like to show you what I like doing to look after my mental well well-being. So I like to do a lot of cooking and baking. So here we've got the Saturday cooking, some chicken broth cooking and some chicken ready to go to the oven and also what we will be cooking later on with my daughter will be carrot cake so we've got all the things here for it so later on hopefully we will have some lovely carrot cake to eat in the afternoon and because weather is not so nice today 
we just decided to do some activities inside. Okay, take care. Bye. Okay. Hi everyone. When I like to relax at home, I get out my puzzle. Yeah, I want to talk about um, one thing I do to take care of myself. Well, there's really there's lots of things that I do to take care of myself. I like to play to play football, go for walks, um, listen to nice music, put on scented candles, all that kind of thing. One thing I wanted to share with you guys, which is what any of you can do, is I have this thing which I call my gratitude journal. So this is uh, just a nice little journal that I keep just to write down things that I'm grateful for or that I really liked. Um, it can be small things, it can be big things, it can be a big event that you found really difficult but that you managed to do or it could be something as small as looking at sunsets or um, when you uh, play football with your friends or went on a bike ride or when you got, um, when you did really well in something in school. So. I write, I try to write something, at least something every day and I've written things about pizza, about um, old friends, about films that I like to watch, um, even about sleeping. So I'm going to read you one that I wrote just to give you an idea, which is um, about plants. So I'm not usually a plant person, but I have liked them more. So I love having plants in my room. It makes everything feel nicer and a bit more fresh and alive. I love how many plants there are and that they have such different colors, shapes, sizes, parts, and textures. But you can, whatever you like to write about or whatever you enjoy, you can write, write about that. So that is my thing, one of my things that I write about. And it has actually been, there's a lot of scientific proof to um, how beneficial this is to your mental health. So if you want to have a go and get your own gratitude journal and do it yourself, I would highly, highly recommend it. Bye! Listening to my favourite music always helps me feel happy and relaxed. Often gets me dancing and I love having a thing. Now, when I want to relax, I like to put on some music and get creative. So today I've got my painter and I'm painting a mural on my new baby's wall. So, I'm going to get back to it. We're having a walk in the golf course. We're having a walk in the golf course. Hi everyone. One of the things I do to keep myself feeling good is reading. I read as much as I can wherever I can, as many different books as I can. I find it helps me when I'm feeling really happy and I just want to chill out and do something I enjoy. But I also find that it really helps if I'm feeling sad or scared or worried because I can take a little break and disappear into a book and disappear into another world for a bit. It helps me if I feel lonely because I can reread one of my favourite stories and feel like I'm reading about friends and characters that I love. I find that it helps me sleep if I read before bed. I find that it helps me understand other people. Sometimes I will read a book and learn something from it, or I'll find someone that's feeling the same way I am. I just think it's incredible. I love you can do it anywhere, in any weathers. You can do it for free if you get books from the library. I cannot imagine what I would do without books in my life. In fact, I'm going to have a read now. I like to run every day after school for my well-being. Hello, I am just cutting out some paper. I really enjoy making collages from random bits of paper. Look, I found the seal earlier. And, um, sticking it all together and making little collages and mainly I turn them into cards so that I can send them to people to say I miss them or say thank you for something and what's really nice is you don't really have to think about it you can just go with the flow and cut out circles or blobs or towers or anything really 
and I find it really relaxing and I love working with colour. Just don't worry, we'll be alright. Just don't worry, we'll meet again. Just don't worry if you're feeling down, maybe lonely. Just go find someone, express yourself. Find something to do, maybe a painting. Or you can sing along and dance as well. Just don't worry, we'll be alright. Just don't worry, we'll meet again. Just don't worry, just don't worry, we'll be alright. <laughs> Did it, 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 did it,